So hi guys, my name is Kunal, and today we're gonna discuss about the SAP model. So let me first start the presentation. Okay, so SAP model is popular, also known as the Arthur System Architecture. It is a three-tier client-server model. Which consists of the presentation server, application server, and the database server. Also, these servers are maintained in three different machines, which we're gonna look in the later part of this slide. So, coming on to next, the first one is the presentation server. So, generally, when a user installs the SAP system, which is also known as the SAP GUI, that is the graphical user interface, he sees different menus. With the help of this menu, he is able to give input to the SAP system, which is also popularly known as the presentation server. Then coming on to the next, that is the application server. The main work of the application server is to take the input from the user, to process it, and then in return provide the output to the user, that is the presentation server. So this is the main work of the application server. Then coming on to the database server. So generally, the work of the database server is to store the input of the user. Uh, database server consists of the RDBMS, which is also known as the Relational Database Management System, which stores the data of the user. And it is very much beneficial in the modern world because it provides an access to the multiple users to use the SAP system at the same point of time. So, however, the database server stores the input of the user but before storing it it asks for the confirmation whether the user wants to store such data or not if he accepts that he wants to store such data then it will be stored in the database server that is the rdbms coming on to the next thing that is the server or the layer functionality so as we learned earlier the presentation server or the presentation layer is the one which accepts the input from the user the application server or the layer is the one that provides the output after it accepts the input from the presentation server. And the third one is the database server or the layer which acts as a storage of the input which is provided by the user. So coming on to the three machines. So yes, uh, this was the thing which I was discussing earlier. These are the three machines which are there in the SAP model. The first one is the laptop. It is also known as the presentation layer from where the user gives input and it passes on to the application server whereby it is processed and the output is provided to the presentation server that is the user. And then finally there is a database server which consists of the RDBMS system whereby the data of the users are stored. So these are the three important model of the SAP system which are maintained under three different machines. So in the coming lecture, we will be discussing about the modules in the SAP, that is the technical module and the functional thing. Also, we will be going through the uh, working of the SAP system in the SAP FICO, SAP FICO. Uh, we're going to start with the enterprise system, which consists of the company, company code, business area, and then the credit control limit. So if you like the content please like and subscribe to my channel i make sure that in coming lectures we're going to discuss more about the sap fico thank you have a good day